This person goes to Baghdad every year without anyone knowing. Who is he? He is K.H. Abdul Hamid, from Indonesia. He has many karomas, for example his form can be similar to other places. Bahamid's first karoma that people believed was that it could be in another place with a similar form. According to the story, this incident was discovered by Habib Bakir Maladala. On one occasion, Habib Bakir came to meet Kiai Abdul Hamid Pasuruan. At that time, at K.H. Abdul Hamid's place, many people came to ask for prayers or other needs. However, it turns out that, after finding out using mystical knowledge, Habib Bakir was shocked. The reason is, Bahamid was in the holy land of Mecca at that time. The second is being able to read someone's wishes. Said Ahmad, one of Bahamid's saints at that time, initially wanted to test the Kiai's sainthood. He wanted to know whether it was true that the Kiai could know what other people wanted. At that time, after the Isha prayer in the congregation, said Ahmad waited for all the congregation to go home. He monitored the area around Kiai Hamid's house. Not long after, the porch lights at Kiai Hamid's house were turned off. Knowing this, said Ahmad thought that the Kiai did not know his desire to be offered food by the Kiai. After that, said Ahmad rushed to leave the mosque. But suddenly, from Kiai Hamid's house someone waved at him. With hesitant steps, said Ahmad approached him. It turned out that the host himself had called him. Eat here, okay, said Kiai Hamid with a smile. He was invited into the living room. There the dish was served. Sorry, the side dishes are minimal, said Kiai, casually. You didn't say anything, though. Said was sarcastic. And since then he has believed that Kiai Hamid is the guardian. The last one goes to Baghdad every year without anyone knowing. Apart from the two above, there are other karomas that are no less familiar to the wider public. Namely, it is said that every year, Bahamid goes to Baghdad without the people around him knowing. This story begins with an incident directly experienced by Kiai Masihudi, Sanan Kalan, Blatar. He told it around 2007, before he died. Apart from the three karomas above, of course there are many other karomas owned by Kiai Hamid Pasuruan. It is so noble, it is not surprising that every year, the hall is flooded with pilgrims from various corners.